Hello again. In the previous section, we talked about using repetition for designing computer programs and started using repetition in processing. We talked about identifying one or more statements and then telling the computer how often we wanted them to be repeated. From our example, we built up a rectangle by using a line statement that we instructed the program to repeat in a certain pattern. But repetition can be used for more than just issuing a statement again. We can also use repetition to make changes to the values that are stored within our program. That is, we can combine data and repetition. This is a very powerful technique in programming because it allows us to keep track of large and complicated calculations and is one of the reasons that computers are so good at performing large and complex mathematical tasks. Although we're going to be using repetition to change data in the program, Rather than making the same statement happen more than once, we use the same loop statement. Loop statements are used to control repetition, but are the same whether you're looking to repeat statements or store the results of repetition in data. To keep things clear, let's look at that loop again. A for loop consists of the following template. The word for, the initialization, test, and update section, and some statements in the body. We declare a variable in the initialization section that we are going to use to keep track of the number of times that this loop repeats by putting code in the update section to change this variable every time we go around the loop. The test is then used to check to see if the variable has reached some sort of point where we say, that's enough. What happens in this loop? In this case, the initialization is used to declare a loop variable i that starts off as 0. This is then checked to see if i less than 4. It is, so we go into the body, the code inside the loop, and we draw a line. Then at the end, we add 1 to i, so i is now 1. Then we go back to the top of the loop and we check the test again. The initialization is only run once at the beginning, and then the process is check, execute the body if we pass the test, then do the update. This loop will repeat four times, stopping when i is set to four. But this is just repetition of a statement, and we've seen that before. How can we carry out repetition of data? Let's look at the code from that last section again. Let's say we want each line to get thicker as we draw it. Well, we can change the thickness of a line by using the stroke weight statement before we draw a line. Processing starts with the stroke weight set to one. So we could draw a thicker line with stroke weight four. What would happen if we made this change to the code? Well, let's run it and find out. Ah, we drew the same thicker line. How can we make this line thicker every time we execute the loop? Let's add a line thick variable to the program. We'll start from one, and what we want to do is to use repetition to double the thickness every time we go around the loop. Now let's make the stroke weight statement use the line thick variable instead of a number. Does this fix the problem? No because we're not yet changing the data on every repetition. We can change line thick on every iteration by adding one more statement. So the whole program now looks like this. What do you think would happen if we put the line thick change before the stroke weight statement? 